Algebra 1, 12.1d, word problems involving functions, the functions of x. So please watch the videos 12.1a, b, and c. We're on 12.1d right now, and before you watch this one, you need to watch those or you might get totally lost. The links to these videos, these three videos, are in the video's description in this video, okay? So you can click on the description and watch those real quick so that you don't get confused. The input is the domain. It's also the x-coordinate. It's the same thing. And the output is the function value. It's the range. It's also as the function of x. It's what we think of as the y-value on a coordinate plane, okay? So here's our first word problem. The function t of d equals 10d plus 20. It gives the temperature in degrees Celsius inside the Earth as a function of d, the depth in kilometers. So you can see where the letters are coming from. d is for depth, and t is for temperature. See how they did that? So if you're wondering where these letters are coming from, why it doesn't say f of x all the time, well, it's because they can plug in other variables, just like we do in algebra, okay? So if we want to find the temperature at 5 kilometers, 20 kilometers, and 1,000 kilometers, all we have to do is plug in these values. So it's going to be three different problems, isn't it? We plug in this value 5 into this equation for d, and we solve it. So t of 5 equals 10 times 5 plus 20. So we plug in this 5, and we get 10 times 5 is 50 plus 20. That's 70 degrees Celsius. Just substitute each value for d and solve. Isn't that easy? And just substitute 20 into this. So we get 10 times 20, which is 200 plus 20. That's 220 degrees Celsius. That's the function value, OK? So the orange ones are the function value or the range, OK? For 1,000, we plug the 1,000 in. 10 times 1,000 is 10,000 plus 20 is 10,020 degrees Celsius. Isn't that easy? Yeah, it's not as hard as you think it is. And don't let the letters of the alphabet scare you, okay? You can see where they're coming from in the word problem. Look at this one. Now we've got a W and a D, but you can see where they came from. It came from water and depth. No big deal, right? The function W of D equals 0 0.112. That's 112 thousandths times D. It gives the depth of water in centimeters as a function of d, the depth of snow in centimeters. So find the depth of water that results from these depths of snow, because snow is fluffier, right? So when it melts, it has a, a different water depth than from when it was snow. When it was snow, it was fluffy and taller. When it became water, it became lower, right? So if snow was 16 centimeters, how deep would it be once it melts and turns into water? We plug it into this, and we put the 16 in where the D was, and the 16 in where the D was, see? And we do our multiplication. 0 0.112 times 16 comes out as 1.792 centimeters. So if you've got 16 centimeters of snow, it's going to melt down to just 1.792 centimeters deep of water. Isn't that cool? And we can plug in the 25 centimeter one for D in each place. And we do our multiplication, and it comes out as 2.8 centimeters. And we plug in the 100 in the place of D. And we don't even need to multiply, because this is 100, and that's a decimal. When you multiply a decimal by 100, however many zeros there are, that's how many decimal hops to the right you're going to go. So if it's here, there's two zeros, so we're going to go 1, 2, and we're at 11.2 centimeters. We could have done the multiplication, but we'd still come out with 11.2 centimeters, see? So in this word problem, D mean, meant depth. W was the water. You might see the function of H. That might mean height for H. You might see G. That might mean gravitational pull. We don't know. X is used as a generic variable. So don't let the letters of the alphabet, you know, scare you, worry you, confuse you. Just do it as if it said f of x, okay? No big deal. So 
just substitute the values for that variable or x and solve it. Now our next video is 12.2a. I want to talk about how to recognize a function. If it's an equation, can we tell it's a function? If it's on a graph, can we tell it's a function? If it's arrows, can we tell it's a function? And we'll talk about that, okay? And if you want to see the links to the previous videos, these are the three videos I was talking about, and there's going to be a link to my grade 8 math playlist. You can scroll down to chapter 6. That's all the videos that start with a 6 point something. It's all about functions, and it's explained at a much lower, easier level. In this Algebra 1 playlist, I get a little deeper in the topic, and we actually touch on some stuff from Algebra 2, okay? So if you need an easier explanation, try checking out my grade 8 math playlist and going to chapter 6, okay? All right, I'll see you next video. Keep your chin up. We can do this. Bye.